I bought yet another jammer. I know that I said I won't, but last time when I had the smallest one in my collection, everyone had multiple complaints. And no, this is really what the jammer does. It jams the other networks, it flutes, it flutes the other networks, but without sending the authentication packages. And someone said that it's super expensive because last one had to use the amplifiers and he told me that he can build the same with a couple of bucks. Well, yes, you can build a theater for a couple of bucks, not a jammer. I mean, I, I encourage you to do so, but you can. And also someone said, yes, it's the smallest, but if you are adding the amplifiers, then it's not small anymore. Well, this has it both. And the third thing is that it's not expensive at all, because as for the last one, we have to add the amplifiers, which summed up around, I don't know, 130 bucks or something like that. Well, this is almost, I think, to, to, um, I don't even remember, let's check. So this is only 50 euros and it's a 10 watts amplifier included jammer. It's only 4.4, but there are multiple available for 5.2 or 5.8 also. But 10 watts, so it's 10 watts with the amplifiers included, of course, it, but it's, it's 10 watts. So in the pictures, you will say that it's a little rough, but, oh, and, before asking me where you can find it, you, you just showed the you just you just saw the screen, but you can search for VCO generator. Keep that in mind. So this is the package. It comes with an antenna. And also the chamber itself. So let's see. Forty. By seventy six. Is this small enough for you? And it has amplifiers, okay? Good, so what's with this jammer? So firstly, it's not so rough as in the pictures, they are providing it super smooth. It has the SMA and you can use the antenna provided. And it's, it's the one with the, uh, it's with, uh, it's a SAM here. And also, we have here 28 volts. So this is the plus, this is the ground. What does it mean? Because it has 10 watts, but it's not 10, well, I mean, it, it depends on the voltage that you are providing. Because for example, um, it at 28 volts it takes 0 0.7 amps 18 volts it takes about 0 0.5 amps and 12 volts also 0 0.5 so uh, of course if, if the voltage changes the the output changes also but the change is not linear as the voltage increases uh, the performance increases on a logarithmic curve I will add some some pictures, uh, but but it's possible to adjust the optimal performance under a, a local need, like by tightening the voltage, let's say. Um, 
you can avoid unnecessary distance or to prevent the voltage drop being too large so it's super adjustable it can serve any need so if you need to cover a larger area it can do it if you need to cover a smaller area just decrease the voltage so it's super versatile so as i said it's maximum 28 volts since it doesn't have a usb connector then you'll have to use something like this so just two wires and that's basically it i think you can even hit it uh, directly but we will solder some wires so let's see let's see what's inside first this is not small enough this is small enough most probably hopefully this will be the last one the last chamber but It depends. This one is more powerful than the others that I own, like taking into consideration that even my amplifiers are like 4 watts. So this, this has 10 without any external amplifiers. There are several available, like even for 20, 30, 40 watts, but they are more expensive, let's say. They are not crazy expensive, they are more expensive. And I'm not willing to spend such money for just some testing. But this being only 50 bucks, I mean 50 euros, that means 60 bucks or something like that. Well, it's not a huge spend, so let's see there are so many screws so many screws okay One it's down. I'll search for it later. Do you recognize the buffer? You do right. So be careful when you're stretching the pin. Let me do this now. So in case I will break it, at least I'm here. So I can... I can solder a new one if needed. But it's not needed. Okay, one thing I should mention, this gets really, really hot, of course, like the others also. So you will need to use an additional heatsink with it before powering it up. And I had one big heatsink from from an old motherboard, but after checking it, it's not, uh, it has these channels. So I will have to file it down. And I don't want to do so. I mean, it takes a lot of time. I don't have anything to file it 
uh, rather than a manual file so it doesn't make sense I will go with it as it is for now and I'm planning to build an additional case for it so but this will be in another video it's still in progress let's put it back together as if so this uppercase doesn't really need an additional heatsink because it's it doesn't do anything i mean yes since it's it's attached to the other part of the body so since it's aluminium it's uh also contributing of on, on cooling the entire thing but it's not directly attached to the board the other side is which is great because the other side it's smooth so it can be attached easily to another heatsink i will use a heatsink from a stock intel fan intel cooler and i, I lost two screws okay I have something in mind, but this will be an additional, an additional video. So I, I'm thinking about a case that will be proper ventilated, but I will use an Intel stock cooler because I have a lot and I have no purpose for them. They, they are not great also, but I'm trying to recycle as much as possible. I'm, I don't want to throw them away. And I find the other screw also. cross pattern right who needs it and then i will wonder why everything is not aligned but oh well now it is so i'm lucky okay this part is smooth we can attach a radiator uh radiator or heat sink on it depends on your region but firstly we need to solder this and i think we don't even need to solder or we do let's see maybe maybe not if we are lucky enough i mean not yet because at the end it will be soldered but for now, at least for this test, maybe we can test it as it is. If we can get the ground. Can we? Probably, maybe, hopefully. Or not really okay so I did this just because I'm super lazy but I promise I will solder I will solder it in the next video that it that will cover the case also and now let's check for a charger And we have one 24 volt 3 amps more than enough uh, oh and it has a green LED inside I, I forgot to show you before removing the case but well 
I am I, I can imagine you know how a green LED looks, so this is not really interesting. I don't have super much space to test it, so most probably won't uh, I, I can't demonstrate the range, but you will be able to see that it's currently working. So you can take a look on the screen. I will also plug the charger. Okay. So keep an eye on the screen and let's see now. And already it starts to warm up. Okay. Yeah, this part is is even warmer. Okay. So we had also the test. Everything works as expected. The pin is a little bent now. Uh, but I think I can solve it. It doesn't even matter. It's bent. I will straighten back. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it. 10 watts, more than enough. Uh, 50, 50 euros, 60 bucks. Quite small. You can add an external heatsink, adjustable voltage, so you can use it as per the range that you're requiring. Uh, maybe this is my last Gemmer video, who knows? I mean, I will have an additional video with the case that I'm preparing for it. But for now, this is all that, that we have. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and see you in the next one. Cheers.